The Association of Africans uh, was founded around 2000 as a collective of uh, the few members of the African community uh, who had arrived um, in Vermont at that time. As more Africans arrived um, from various parts of Africa, primarily through the refugee resettlement um, process, but also through other means, um, and the community grew, uh, I think the, the original members of the association um, began to understand that uh, the needs of this growing community were um, diversifying and becoming more complex um, and that the responding services needed to attend to those changes. Then we, we talk as an, a group as meeting and then they tell us like if you guys ready to have a farm we can supply and get some special food or crops to eat or even you can buy get some money. Mm -hmm. That's why we get from ALV. The way we got involved in this project is that we've got agricultural expertise in the area of farm incubation and when AALV was starting to dream this project together a little bit they came to us and said would you be interested in participating. So we play a modest role in helping this but what we emphasize is the program development side of things because of our work um, supporting farms within the Intervale that we work with. It's a wonderful opportunity and a creative opportunity for members of our community to earn income um, in ways that they might not have otherwise been able to. That's what we have for now. Everything, every crop, tomatoes, cabbage, spinach, squash, salad. Also looking really carefully at the partnerships because we don't have what AALV has and maybe they don't have some of what we have and so I think we're setting up sort of a model that could be replicated nicely. farmers markets that we're participating in are the Old North End Farmers Market, the Winooski Farmers Market, and a farmers market up at Fletcher Allen Healthcare, um, which I didn't even know existed until uh, participating in this project. I think people are very happy to have them here at the market and pretty excited to see the ladies and interact with them in a way they haven't been able to interact with them before. Um, I think the women really appreciate being included here, you know, not just as people wandering through buying, but as, you know, productive vendors. Alice has a small farm plot, one of the smaller plots um, within, the, uh, within the farming program. And she really um, has shown really a lot of ambition, has only recently arrived in the United States from Congo. Alice does not have a lot in the way of English language ability, um, but that has not in any way deterred her from being a, a full participant in this project. In this office, we have staff who speak Gerundi, Swahili, Dinka, and French, which is a lot of the, and Somali, which is a lot of the common language in this community. I find uh, service to refugees, not just from Africa, but refugees coming from any different location around uh, the world to be of tremendous value, both personally for me, but also to the humanitarian cause, which is refugee resettlement and refugee and immigrant service. I just enjoy helping people. Uh, since we live in the United States, we used to buy some vegetable to the marketing, you know, mm -hmm. we have to pay money or food stamp, you know, but since we get this project, we save our money because <laughs> we get in something help, you know, we can go buy now something, you know, vegetable, so we save our money now. I can say 
so uh, it's happy you know it's comfortable and it's really good project yeah it helps everybody so as more refugees come to the United States there need to be welcoming communities that can appreciate and attend to the needs of Africans and so that's why they wanted to build this infrastructure in Vermont to really accommodate the needs of African specific refugees. The federal government recognized that Burlington, Vermont is a safe and welcoming community um, for newly arrived refugees and immigrants. This, the Old North End, I think its biggest strength is its diversity of people. I don't, I don't know why, but it's just people seem to get along here, you know. And there's a lot of different kinds of people and, and uh, you know, it seems like every year or two there's a, a whole group from a, another country, you know, coming. Uh, it all seems to work out, it's sort of like a, uh, almost like a model of like how you know diverse and integrated a working class neighborhood can be. It is one of the goals to increase the amount of contact uh, between members of our community and the American born public that wouldn't necessarily have interaction with our community otherwise, at least in a face to face getting to know you sort of way. Um, and so it has been it has been our goal to foster that in as much as possible.